We're going to update Big Sur on an unsupported Mac today. Alright, so hey guys, it's Craig with Squappy's Videos, and yeah, as I said at the beginning of this video, we're going to go ahead and update Big Sur on an unsupported Mac today. So, what we're going to do, um, I have here my 2012 MacBook Pro, um, not supported by Big Sur natively. Um, I did do a video like this before where I just did the Big Sur installation. Now we're going to update that installation uh, through a little bit of an easy process, but it is a long process overall. And it's going to be very similar to the last time that I did a video like this with the same MacBook. So let's get right into it shall we all right so we're at the website here for patch sir this is actually a github website i will have linked in the description down below but as you see it is github.com forward slash ben soba forward slash patch sir patch hyphen sir that is so basically this is the same process that i ended up using to get my macbook loaded up with mac os 11.0.1 um, <clears throat> I'm just going to download the newer version of it, which is the 0.0.4 .0 beta, as you see here. This was actually what they used as their final uh, release of sorts uh, for the main version of macOS uh, that ended up launching uh, for consumers. So we're going to go ahead and download this. It'll just be a minute. All right. As you see, it's already downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and open up that DMG file. So like I said, this is going to be a very similar process to what we had before. All right. We're going to go ahead and open up the Big Sur application in there. And it's probably going to give you a security warning like it did here for me. You just want to hit OK. And as you see, it says, Welcome to Patch Sir. So what we're going to do, we're going to actually go ahead and with this open, make sure we have a flash drive plugged in. When you have that plugged in, it's going to be the same process. You're going to hit Start. Once you hit Start, you're going to go ahead and just hit Continue. And it gives you an inf uh, a little bit of information on how it works. Um, go through that. Of course, read it. I've already done it, so hit continue. Then you want to select release and continue. And then we're going to go ahead and click on update this time. And what that's going to do, it's going to go ahead and set all the tools and everything. You're going to tell it to download Mac OS 11.1, .1, which is the newest version. So that's what we're going to click on. Then it's going to go ahead and download the full installer. And then once that download is done, then at that point, we're going to go ahead and get it loaded onto the flash drive here. All right, it's done. So now it's going to go ahead and ask you for the password to continue. That's going to be the password for your computer. So the reason why it needs that um, is going to be because it needs to access your drive so that way it can create the flash drive. So on that, we're going to go ahead and enter the password and then click continue. All right, so now it's going to go ahead and install all the packages and get the drive up and running and bootable. To do that, you got to go ahead and select the drive. Uh, as I see, I have a uh, as you see, I have a Catalina installer plugged in right now. So that's actually what we're going to go ahead and use. So we're going to go ahead and select that and hit continue. It's letting you know that the drive will be erased. That's normal. We're going to go ahead and click on continue. Then it's going to erase the disk and create it. As you see, it does say it can take a couple of hours. I haven't seen it take a couple of hours, but it does take a take a little bit. So we're gonna let that run.
and the flash drive has finished. So basically, at this point, we have a Big Sur installer flash drive ready to go. So we're not going to go through the native software update program to do that. What we're going to do is we're essentially going to go ahead and boot from the flash drive. As it does say, uh, reinstall Mac OS, but that's not what we're going to do today. So we've restarted the laptop, and with it restarting, we're going to go ahead and press and hold onto the option key to get the boot menu, which I'm sorry to say is out of focus. We're going to select the far right option, which is EFI boot, and it will turn off. Of course, I forgot about this process. I forgot about it turning itself off. So we sat here for a minute, and then I powered it on. So when you power it on, you want to go ahead and hit the option key again, which will bring us back into the boot menu. And this time we're going to want to select once again the autofocus option of install macOS Big Sur. So we're going to go ahead and open that. And then as you see, we get the Apple logo. And we're going to wait for it to boot into the installer. All right, screen will go blank. It'll show a white Apple logo. And then as you see, it will say Mac OS recovery for a minute. And then, still out of focus, sorry. We're going to click on uh, install Mac OS Big Sur and hit continue. Remember, we're just installing right on top of what we already have. So we're going to hit continue again. We're going to agree to the terms and conditions. We're going to select the Macintosh uh, drive that we're selecting it. So in my case, Macintosh SSD. Sorry once again for the out of focus. Then we're going to go ahead and start it. Um, it usually does say it'll take about 45 minutes or so. That number does quickly drop down, especially if you're using an SSD like I am. So we're going to go ahead and let this run. Um, I do get it back in focus, I promise. Uh, once it does run, um, this takes a little while and then it eventually will reboot. So we're going to let that go through. This time when it reboots, it will actually go ahead and continue installing. This process is not quick, I'm going to tell you that right now. So you see the Apple logo changed. And then we will get to our installer prompt. All right, as you see, we are at our installer prompt does start off at about 29 minutes remaining. It took a little longer than that, I'm gonna, not going to lie. So we'll let that run through. So we see that it rebooted again and then brings up the black Apple logo and then as you see here we are we're greeted by the login so I'm gonna go ahead and select my name there I'm gonna put in my password And we'll get logged in. And that's where I'll leave you next. We'll go ahead and move on to the recording of the actual screen instead of using the camera. Back up after the install, and as you see, it was optimizing, which is a good thing. We're going to go ahead and go to About This Mac. And as you see, we are on Big Sur 11.1. So that's all there really is to it at this point, guys. Um, it does take a little while, I'm not going to lie. 
Um, but all in all, it works. Everything works on it. The next step that we have to go ahead and do, so caveat to everything working on it, of course, once again, if you may notice at the upper right hand corner, uh, Wi-Fi is no longer working. So, so yeah, as you see here, it's not connected. So we gotta go ahead and patch that. Um, it's gonna be pretty easy and I'll go through that in just a second here. All right, so what we wanna do is we wanna try opening up the Patch Sir app that's actually on the flash drive. Mac OS may give you an error saying it's not secure. secure. So for that, you wanna actually go into system preferences go into security and privacy and hit open anyway. Little pop-up is gonna say you can't verify it, just hit open. And then from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit patch Mac OS. We're gonna plug in the USB installer and try again. So it doesn't recognize that it's there. So what I did, I actually just hit force skip check after I clicked on plug in USB installer and try again a couple of times. So. And then from there, you type in your Mac OS password and hit continue. And then it's going to go ahead and patch your Kex. Kex files are essentially the drivers of the Mac OS world, in case you're wondering. This does take about a minute or so here. All right, and then we get this button for restart to finish, which is exactly what we're gonna do. We click on that and we're back in now. And as you see, I'm connected to Squappy Link. Yay! So the patches actually did work. From here, that's it. You're up and running. Everything should start working as normal, just as it was before. I have not actually tried just the update option in the uh, in the patch sir application, like you see here for update Mac OS. I'm scared to. Um, as you see, there's different options in here as well. You can disable animations if it's slowing you down and everything like that. You can click on About This Mac. As you see, we are running version 11.1. .1. as a very bright teal. Um, you can kind of go through it that way, or you can actually just do the Apple and About This Mac as well. But that's it for the video at this point, guys. Once again, my name is Craig. This has been Squappy's Videos. If you do enjoy this type of video, please comment down in the comments down below um, i will have a link to the original video also down in the uh in the comments and in the description down below in case you want to go through the process even though it is a very very similar process but i just wanted to go ahead and go over that with you guys a lot of people have, have been asking uh in the last video about this process whether or not it's easy to upgrade if you can upgrade and honestly i didn't know until the build came out but now that it has, here we are, we got it updated. Laptop still working great. Honestly, I think it actually has been running better, which is really odd, uh, to be perfectly honest. But anyways, my name is Craig. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Hit the dislike button if you haven't already. Whichever one you want to do. The key though, subscribe. Hit the bell. It'll be, where is it at? Right there? Yeah. Hit the bell. Um, so that way you get notified for new content uh, from me later on down the line. And thank you guys for watching the video. I will see you in the next video. And it is the end of December. Happy holidays, everyone. Bye.